So you find me today with my favourite friend. Because you'll never guess what's happened. It died again. So this is more of an explanation than a fixie video. So obviously you saw us a while ago put this 2.4 PHFA coded nice transit engine in horrible trigger. So what we did was use all the wiring harness, which is the same, off of the other 57 plate one, which is now hiding around there, the good silver one, throw it in there, it started, did waft some blue smoke when we first fired it up and thought, hmm, because the other one had shit itself, that there might be some stuff in the exhaust, and we'd put a load of cat cleaner and stuff through it. Test drove it, it was all right, waved it off. Three days later, triggers like a blue smoke generator, and we're like, oh, not again. So, following weekend, back it comes. So me, Mark, the man that owned it, sat here on a Saturday, plugged it in, and it was claiming the EGR had died, and we had a gaffy injector, and running like a lumpy bucket of shit, and blowing clouds of blue smoke. So, injector change, no different. EGR change, off of the other engine, which we knew was perfect, because it wasn't a code in the previous computer, no different. Smug and even worse. Anyway, so what we decided to do is Al decided that it was most likely going to be, finally, a ECU fault, which it was. So we took the ECU, the BMI body controller, off of the silver one and the chip for the key, if anyone knows they are coded as a set, threw it on this, but it gives you some problems to the fact that, obviously, this is a, um, a chassis cab with four doors. That's a large van. The ABS pump is coded to this ECU, and so is everything else. So we had to turn the central locking off, but did that, fired up, ran perfectly. Right. So said to Mark, take it away. Drive it around without the central locking. The ABS light will be on, but the brakes obviously still work. But you're going to have to whiz it around for a week and see if it plays up, which it didn't. So we used Charlie, our software expert. We decided that it was obviously going to have to be most likely a hardware fault. So this is the original Transit 2.4 ECU off of this. So we said to Charlie, can you save faffing around coding with the mobiliser data, everything else and a load of ag, just take the silver Transit ECU and flash the program off of the blue one off the blue one, off of the old one, sorry, it's because it's scribbled on in blue thingy, off of the original one, lift the data out of this, because it's most likely to be a hardware fault with these chippy things, and then imprint it into that ECU, which is same same ECU, and then we'll just plug it back in, and it'll be quite happy. No. No, no, no. No, no, that worked perfectly, so we put the ECU in, fired up, ran, lovely. No smoking, no nothing left. Three hours later, blue smoke, running like a lumpy bucket of shit. Back it comes again. So, it would appear we have finally found the problem with Trigger. So when Trigger exploded at 95,000 miles the first time, we sent Trigger to Ford for a software update because they told us we had to have that, otherwise it would die. So basically, the softwares that they flashed onto this ECU, which has been causing trouble and blowing up engines for three years, five years, five years, six years. So two engines due to overfueling and around. So what we've done now is we bought a Virgin software file for a 2.4 PHFA uh, coded transit, engine coded transit, reloaded it to the silver ECU that is in here, then spent the day yesterday with some Digimaku Modern Joint Talkie Machine coding everything back to it. ABS pump, injectors, dashboard, central locking, anything that needed so they made this talk to the truck, everything talked to each other through a body controller and Trega, hateful bucket of turd. Ta-da! Trigger now works! No smoke. Runs lovely. I drove it to Fern down and back this morning as a test and it didn't break. 
if I was feeling slightly less lazy, I'd plug this ECU in and you'll see what happens. It's quite exciting. Um, so finally, possibly, where's some wood? Go and get some wood. Chachi, me lucky piece of railway sleeper. Trigger my leave. Fixed. And stay working. So it won't overfuel anymore. Which I think what was, was killing it was you put it on a hard pull, let off at the top, like to slow down for a roundabout, it didn't stop fueling. It just kept at it until it killed itself. It's done that twice. Three times. So all down to a crap piece of Ford software. There we are. Hopefully, you do that. I might not have to look underneath there till the next time it needs a service. Hateful transits. How many successful YouTubers does it take to remove a Volkswagen Scirocco alternator? Free. Well, I've got my camera on, so we're all on. We are, so you can be on my video for tomorrow night. So we've got the bearded explorer holding hoses. Shall I get in there and rhinoceros on it? You can rhino it. It's very, very, very close. I mean, if this, if this was pulled forward, just a smidgen. So if I smash that into that piece of plastic really hard and pull on it, that's definitely going to break it. That's going to break it. Sam, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. Rhino, rhino. I'll just wave this in here like that. When it come out through that hole, I better not bake it too much because the missus will get all upset with me, will she? <laughs> you can sort of wave it around in the hole, can you? Yeah. I mean, you do love a bit of top quality German design, don't you? Because someone obviously thought about this mm. when they built it. I was saying, if that, that aircon pipe was just rerouted. Well, well, if they didn't in there, there. well, if we well, point. we could get the rips all out. <laughs> Does she use Spice? the aircon? Because we could just disconnect it. And... I think you'll find <laughs> it might possibly be gassed up, and she does tend to watch my YouTube videos. So I think crippling the wife's aircon <laughs> and denying any knowledge—it's <laughs> not going to work, is it? <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a crap idea, that. Because it ain't going to go out the back, is it? No. It's mm. not going to go below it because you've got the. No, it can't, I can't drop it onto the floor. Mm, I think this might involve coffee, biscuits and thinking, you know. That is a good idea. Ooh. Yeah. Can I make coffee, tea and biscuits? Yeah, I'll turn the camera off because we can look more professional when we do it in a minute. <laughs> yeah. And I'm the only one wearing a microphone so they won't be able to hear any of you. <laughs> no. No, coffee, coffee, biscuits and technical stuff. I think we're going to end up popping that corner of the bumper off. Undoing these four, loosening these four uh, bumper bracket mounts, loosening them four, and then just gingerly scooch the whole front of the car forwards. And we'll just treat it like an Audi A4 or an A6, because remember, anything to do with one of those these days, you have to take it off and off. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking well, about popping the box out the side, <laughs> seeing whether that would be enough for it to. Oh, what, the lean? The trouble is, the round pack sort of attached to this poosh piece of rather breakable looking front bump. Don't break it. Yeah, I mean, I could break that in seconds. <laughs> so, I mean, that is quite sturdy, isn't it? Because yeah. you've got the fans out already, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, and we haven't managed to mum lumps out of the radiator yet. No. No, because I haven't been there yet, have I? <laughs> Put my <laughs> own personal signature across it using an alternator. <laughs> Done that dent in that, that radiator. That, 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 was, that was there when we bought it. <laughs> yes, darling. Yes, let's turn the camera off before I get myself in trouble. <laughs> Da, da, da. And we haven't broken anything yet. No. <laughs> but you have got my socket stuck. 
No, 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 no. I have specifically left your socket placed on that bolt. This is when you do it up, it'll, it'll unstick off. itself. It whereas will. otherwise, you're going to have to try and. Well, I can't even see it. No. So to get it off, you'll have to do it up. And we need to do it up in a minute. Might as well do it up then, rather than do it up now to get a socket back that you won't need to do that bolt up. Exactly, exactly. And somewhere down in there's that other socket that you throw in there earlier on that none of us can find. <laughs> it's it. Oh. But I will find it. Because yes. it'll be that annoying rattle and Chasby. It's got an annoying rattle. It's got, it's it's got, got an annoying, annoying rattle. Me, I don't know. Ever since it went to Volkswagen for that, oh, we fixed your emissions cheat and your car's died thing. Um, yeah, there is oh, one down I think in he's there. Found it. He's, he's found it. it. he's found it. He's found it. What you need is one of those little magnets where you can just go. Uh, Hang on, I've got one of those. Have an alternator. <laughs> Thank you very much. Loo. Look at that, it's just shininess. Oh, that is Isn't that just beautiful? So yeah, I've got the joys of whacking this all back in there. And hopefully, it'll be like brand new. Go for it. Ta-da! Ta-da! Ta yep. right, don't drop test that, that's mine as well. That <laughs> is yours. <laughs> right. Right, now so let's, 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 let's do this. Gingerly let's, put this let's, back let's in Let's do this in reverse. Whoop, zip, whoop, zip, 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 zip. How did we do this again? <laughs> Shoot <Shut up. up. laughs> <laughs> Slam dunk it. <laughs> Doesn't feel quite as easy all of a sudden. Well, it came out arse first, didn't it? It did. So it if did. we go in that way round, because I reckon we were wedged in there, weren't we? Like that. Yeah. That ow, ow, I'm just Ooh, testing that, the rigidity of my finger now. So if I put my arm under here to catch it in case it falls. But if it falls in, we're winning. We don't want it to fall too far. That's, that's actually going oh, in quite oh, well. Oh. Right, we're not digging holes in a radiator, are we? Nope, nope. Right. Sort of so stuck, hang on. Let's have me. I think we're now wedged. Okay, right, we're right on the top of the plastic of the radiator. Radiator. So got a Shall I le leave her on this a bit and you see if you can spin her in there? Right. That sounds possible. I'm just going to rhino it in like that. Blimey! Uh, I'm going to... You see that bit of rhino action there? No, now? that was professional. I haven't left any of my knuckles on any parts of the vehicle at all. I tell you what my missus did for me the other day. <laughs> tell the public what your missus did yeah. to you the other day. So, the other day, I took the top off my thumb using a crank pulley again. Ooh. And it was like, well, you know when it goes all a bit manky? Because yeah. a big lump of skin came off. So I thought, I'll just leave that alone. And then it was healing nicely. And I was out Sunday, I said something. So she leant over and bashed me on the end of her thumb with a teaspoon. Oh. Oh. I mean, admittedly, I think it was only supposed to be funny, but she hadn't quite noticed the severity of the damage to my thumb. <laughs> we were in that Boston Tea Party place in, in Ringwood, and oh, that I had to hold the choice language. <laughs> it really hurt. And then she spent the rest of the day being very, very apologetic to me for ruining my hand. <laughs> right, Fudger, I'm going to put all of this back on time lapse. Okay, I'm going to chuckle this back ten together. Minutes, I'm going to go and ruin the headlights using sanding discs. And you, um, you can huzzah that I back together. That and back if you together. need your 60 mil socket... It's down there. It's down there. <laughs> okay. But, <laughs> if, but if, if, if you take the fog lamp, if you take the... Uh, I think that might be, I don't know what I think that's a, the fog... I think if you take this light here out, look. Yeah. Then you can do the bolt up. Ah. Put it back in afterwards. Okay. Don't break the bulb because it looks quite posh and fancy. So I was going to put that look down fancy, there. It does doesn't it? And then you can do it up, get your socket back, put the bulb back in. Huzzah. Mechanical. Wow. Mechanical, Mechanical brilliance. Mechanical brilliance. Ship Right, so on round two of doing all that stuff that you needed to do before you went to Germany to pick up something exciting. Now, you recognise this ML from the other week. MOT'd it straight through. Then it started doing exciting things as we sold it to a mate. So every now and again, you'd turn the key off, the truck wouldn't turn off, or the truck would turn off and the lights on the dash would stay on. And then one day it went absolutely flappy mental, started flashing the indicators 
turned all the lights on, wipers were going, turned itself off, then it wouldn't turn off after it had restarted. Um, the rear wiper was going, the rear squirter was going, and you were like, great. So, what we have, obviously, we had a fair idea what it was. Now, this is an AAM module, if you happen to own one of these W163s. All area access. So this links everything in the truck together through your SAMS module. So your SAMS module is like your fuse box thingy he sits here. And then underneath it, clipped in on the side like this, is your AAM module. So when you get those type of symptoms of it going a bit batshit, let me move my microphone, not doing what you want it to do, AAM module. So we managed to find an appropriate new to us AAM module. It's quite an easy swap out. You lift the fuse box up, take the cover off, a few screws, out comes the SAMS unit, and underneath is an AAM. It's clipped on, clip here, and then an annoying clip that you manage to pass it with a screwdriver just there, and then this separates. Now, obviously, you need to get the right numbered one to match, otherwise you'll be in all sorts of trouble, because they are different, say, 320 petrol to 270 diesel because we really didn't have many other options in this country. They did do a 400 CDI, but I've never seen one here. Um, so this does lots of stuff, including the access. So it does the remote key, which I have, I have the key in my pocket. So it does the lockings. So once you change this, it won't do that or that. So. This will get you going again. You can pretty much swap an AAM of the same number into a truck and it'll start and behave, but it won't remote central lock. You need to go into it with um, dash and do the key reboot, which is actually fairly simple if you add dash. So basically this now is fixed, functioning perfectly, and I'm going to go and deliver it to its new owner. One more at the yard, and then we're gonna go see Fudgy who's fixed, finally finishing off the wife's chariho so that we can give that back tomorrow with some new tyres that got lost by the people from eBay because they sent them to the wrong place and they've been all around the world. I mean, Mitchell and no, they're Pirelli P0s. They was not cheap. So hopefully they arrive tomorrow morning, fit them in great rush, jump in truck after MOT in the bearded explorer's car for petrol hedonism on Friday and MOT in a dog walker's van that's arriving now, fixing the transit. And repairing Rob's silver van that we're going to leave in charge with Fudgy. It's easy, you know. I'll not touch your painting bits on the bonnet. I can just open it, can't I? <laughs> so we have fitted an alternator and it charges. It charges, it does. Yeah, yeah. three YouTubers and a load of swearing. That's in there. We have polished and tried our best with the headlights, but I think I'm going to buy some new ones at some point. Yeah. Just remember to do the, co done the cooling cap up a little bit full, be fine. Serviced it. Fitted an intelligent shock absorber to replace an intelligent shock absorber that had become a bit unintelligent. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. ABS sensors, done. Beautiful. Beautiful. We have, shall I go and grab a very shiny wheel? Yeah, they are very nice, actually. As long as I don't drop them, they will be. Mind that ramp. <laughs> so we have these all redone. So if you're local to us and you need a good wheel company, silver wheels in Ferndown, if you take tyres off yourself, and deliver them wheels. They do four wheels like this in whatever colour you'd like. Um, 216 quid, which to be honest, That's pretty cheap. is pretty good. Yeah. So I'm going to put this down without damaging it because we can't do anything with them because they've lost our tyres and they're not here till tomorrow. Uh -huh. And then Fudge, oh, that's going And Fudge has repaired the owl shaped bender <laughs> being a grumpy track in the car park a few years, about a year ago when one of the tyres fell off again. And painting it made it all look pretty. Yeah, so it's it's it looks right, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. As long as you've got a Well no, it's fine to be honest. I mean it's much better than the big squashed out bit that was there before. Yeah. I think what we need to do is we can go and hit the up button and then we can show the people the brilliance of your work. Because you've lacquered it yet, you've got to lacquer it. I have lacquered it. You have lacquered it. Lacquered it. Yeah, I won't I've... stick my finger in it. No, no, do not stick your finger in it. Do not stick your finger. I'll whack her up. Yeah, the whack her up. We'll be able to see we have got rid of the big squat, well you have, because I rhinoed on it a bit and made it worse. <laughs> um, reapplied the textured coating to match the textured coating back here. Lined it off, painted it in the correct oak black, 
Oak, oak, oak black, yeah. But oak black bronze. Yeah, oak black bronze. Yeah, so it was brown, brown basically. <laughs> but, but, but yes, I can remember when I first got this and I was like, it is brown. And she was like, I don't want a brown car. And I brought it home and she was like, it's not brown. I was like, good, you can have that then. <laughs> so that is all painted and lovely. So yep. all we are waiting on is some tyres. And yeah. then the boss can have the high speed racing wagon yes. back. We'll give it a bit of a wash off. We, we might give it a bit of a wash off. You may be in charge of returning it tomorrow. Yeah. If I've gone, because I'll see if we can get someone to bring her over here. And then the world, the roads of Dorset will be a light again. Yes, look out Dorset. Look out Dorset. It's a coming. High speed Scirocco. Sh High speed Scirocco racing machine. Yes. Might, and those brakes will be polished up in seconds. <laughs> so basically, yes, good, done. Wife Scirocco. Sorted. Does need a bit of a wash. It's a bit grubby. She did inform me that it has been broken since Christmas. No. No. I might not have got to it. We need to wash the headlights off, but they're much better than they were. Yeah, they? I did wipe them off with some water. Mm, and it's yeah. Just a bit yeah, that's fine. Watery. It does have the world's most cack headlights. You cannot see where you were going. Yeah. Um, yes. So, right, we're on to the next. I'm going to go and deliver Raymond's ML with Yay. his tyres in the back. So that's one more out of the yard. Uh -huh. And I need to order some bits for a very super stupidly long sprinter for servicing purposes. Yep. And then we need to have a look at Rob's Berlingo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, uh, um, I'll put end. that where Raymond's is in a minute and get the bonnet Oh, up I might bit. move the dead veto off the outside ramp and we could use that. Yeah. No what will get me forklift out and make a mess. Yes. Yes. <laughs> So, final of a Wednesday. It's a bit floppy, isn't it? It did die, didn't it? Yeah, it's like It a... was doing the chewies on the front of it in there, wasn't it? Yeah, he's crunchy, crunchy. Mm, I think that's give up. So, done. That's the one we rebuilt the engine on for your time. Yeah. But it actually sounds... Is that a bird shit, or do you reckon? No, that is a bird that shit. That is it's a bird not a big, shit. Not a big oily patch. That's a big bird shit. Big bird shit. So, brum, brum, brum. Nice. So get rid of that. Yay. Yay. <laughs> That's the day done. Indeed. Done. We've had right. quite a good day today, haven't we? Yes, we fixed the ML. That's left. Yeah. We fixed my ML. That's done. We'll show that in a minute. That's done. Ready for its trip across Europe. Yep. Tomorrow evening. We fixed this. Fixed the transit. Fixed the... Gone as far as we can with the Scirocco. Scirocco is done, apart from the fact they've lost the tyres. The dog van. Dog fan, MOT. MOT, two light bulbs, gone. Trigger's yet to leave. Yeah. But it can't break outside the car park, turned off, so it should be fine. Yeah, that's ready to go. And then we've got the Bearded Explorer's pile of rubbish for an MOT tomorrow. Well, it's not a pile of rubbish, it's actually quite a nice car, because it used to be yeah. there. But then that's MOT tomorrow, and then that's the last job, but you're probably doing that. Yeah. Yes, because I will be on my way to Germany by then. Yeah. Right, I'm going to back this out before it does transit things and breaks. He loves the transits, really. You want to grab the Bilingo? I'm tired. Right, so I'm going to Germany tomorrow in me fixed Mercedes ML. Yeah. I've got one last thing to do, which is sort the annoying rattly guard that's been rattling on the exhaust for ages. I'm doing that tomorrow for a leaf. Mm -hmm. You're on uh, Rob's van has developed another oil leak after we cured all the oil leaks. Yep. So we, I think I know where that's coming from, the vacuum pump, I think, which might explain why the brake pedal isn't quite as good as it used to be. Okay. But we have one of those. Okay. Super so we'll smashing. deal with that first thing in the morning because I'm not off till tomorrow afternoon. Yep. Then mm. I've got Collins to MOT. Collins to MOT and I'll order the service bits for that big, stupid, great size Mercedes tomorrow. Yes. Um, but we can probably both get through that because Terry's here at 10 o'clock in the morning because he's having the day off. 
Oh, so I got right for some. Well, he's coming. Oh. He's coming to Germany with me because he's yeah. the reason we're going to Germany. Anyway, we're now waffling. We are. So, uh, thank you very much, people. Another random video, but it's a bit like a day in the life again. It's day in life. Day in the life. Day in the life. Day in the life. Day in the life. And we've had a good day. Don't you go make this van dirty because it's all <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't be fine. Right, thank you very much. <laughs> fudge, out, out, fudge, 60 diesels.